A few years ago, we filmed the Penrith and District Red Squirrel Group using thermal spotters and day states to rid the Cumbrian woodlands of grey squirrels. Today, we're trying something similar, but with a catapult and a pulsar helium. It's something Wayne has always fancied giving a go. The Dora Tri on Friday has been chatting with my friends about them. Everyone says they're a game changer. So this time of year, all the leaves on the trees, you've got pigeons in there, squirrels in there, but you can't see them. Or you'll see the squirrel on the floor, they'll run up the tree, they're gone. So I think with one of these, once they're up the tree, we can spot where they are and hopefully uh, get a shot into them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. There was no mistake in that, that was clear. You could see it. <laughs> It's so yeah. funny because it's like it's clearly your first use of a thermal. Yeah. I'm sort of like, I'm yeah. sort of like oh, yeah. it's that revelation moment. It's like, yeah. oh my god. Uh, unbelievable. It, you know, we've seen like the, the little white patches up to now. But that's the first time I've seen something through the, the clearing, you know, in, in it clearly see it. And it was clearly a squirrel. Do you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can see what the fuss is about. <laughs> We're hoping the thermal will give us an advantage today. The leaves are still on the trees and there is dense ground cover. It's not as straightforward as you perhaps thought, is it? No, it's not. What we could do is not as much zoom. For something so close, you know, when you're working in, you know, 25, 30 yards, not even that, 25 yards to the top, these are sort of zoom out a little bit so we can cover a wider space quicker. I mean, it's literally the detail you can see on this is crazy. There is no way we would have spotted the squirrel without a thermal, but he's off, as are so many others. They're just not sitting for us. She's still there. Yeah. When they're not running across the branches, they're running over Andy's fields. <laughs> Very nearly a driven squirrel. I thought I'd try and time him running into it. <laughs> Wayne has had a busy 2020. When he wasn't looking after his young daughters with his other half working on the NHS front line, he was designing catapults and building his catty shack business. The last six months it's gone from strength to strength to be honest. Um, we've got these coming out soon. This is the clip version of the stainless steel Evo. It was massively well received um, when the first version of it with the wrap and tuck came out and also Nobody else knows about this one yet either, so you've got a Field Sports exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> These will be coming out soon. The Evo Birch Ply Goblet version. So that'll be coming out, uh, I think it's around about six weeks, supposedly. Um, so that'll be branded up with the Catty Shack on there. And also, this is a solid G10, which is like a glass fibre um, resin, 15 millimetre thick. It's the sort of thing you can just throw in your pocket, throw in your mooch bag. You, you know, you aren't going to damage that. They're about six weeks away as well, I think, six to eight weeks, something like that. Any more designs in the pipeline? Well, I got asked this the other day, um, and I'm a great believer in if it's not broke, don't try and fix it. I think, if, I mean, I enjoy shooting this design. I don't see myself shooting any other design. There is one more design. <laughs> <laughs> there is one more design that, that I made with a, a guy called Matt Redding. That should be going to production, but that's not going to be just yet, but that's going to be something a bit later on. But as for my own things, I don't think it needs to be touched. We head back to the farmyard for some bankers, the ferals that enjoy the free grain. Even these are skittish. Are gonna go then we're offered the, the chance of a much larger quarry. Yeah. Canada geese are back in residence at the pond. They're a nuisance and need to go. So Wayne has permission to shoot one or even two if he gets the opportunity. This is not a shot to be taken lightly. There you go. 11 millimeter steel ball. What's that, 25 yards? He makes no mistake. Yeah. Any good with a boat? Yeah, I'll be straight out. I'll swim it if I need to. All right, so I need to turn around, don't I? Do you have to do this before? Never. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Got him. 
right on top of the head. First ever goose with a catapult. Very pleased with that. And again. It dropped, didn't it? Sorry? It really dropped. Oh, it did drop like a stone. 11 millimeter steel, just above the eye. Yeah, over the moon. Incredibly, he doesn't get a drenching, and we have an unexpected end to our thermal squirrel outing. Not often you get the opportunity to shoot uh, Canada goose. They're crapping all over the ladies' lawn over there, causing the right nuisance, so it's a right mess over there. So yeah, he said, uh, game on. If you can take one, take one. We've shot it with something that's legal to use. We've used steel ball. We shot it on permission, and we shot it under the fact that it's a nuisance bird. So yeah, who would have thought this was going to be our ending? You know, we've, we've been the working hard on squirrels this morning. Squirrels evaded us, come back to get some ferals, they, they'd all gone. Um, and yeah, this was there, and Crowley said, like I say, Crowley said, yeah, if you can take one, feel confident in taking one, take one. For more information about Wayne's Cadabalt products, go to caddyshack.co.uk.